There will be times where you'll want to update your Apollo client based on the behavior of users in your app or authentication headers for logged in users. In this video, we'll look at this example here. We'll explore creating a custom Apollo link that updates our request headers using the value from a custom context provider. Here we have a dropdown with different currencies. And when users select one of these currencies, we want to send that along with our GraphQL request, but as a custom header when we make a request to a GraphQL API. Here's the application that we have so far. It's using the Apollo client and executes a query to get the cart contents. We can see here that we get the subtotal formatted and raw amounts, and we want these to actually be in the currency that we pass along as a header. So further on down where we render our header, if we open this, we can see that we have a currency and a set currency handler. The select element here on change updates the currency in our context. We then map through all of our different currencies that we have listed above. And when a user selects these, this currency will be added to the context. Then we want to get that and pass it along to our GraphQL API. So if we have a look inside of our file where we mount the Apollo provider, here we can see that we're importing the currency provider that contains the context for our currency. We then create an HTTP link that has the URI for our GraphQL API. And then here we have a custom component called my Apollo provider. We instantiate a new Apollo client and we pass along the link and set our cache. We then return the Apollo provider and pass it the client. And then we render that instead of our currency provider. Because we're in the context of our currency provider, this means we can get the actual value from the context store. Let's begin by pulling the value currency from our context store. We'll use our custom hook here, use currency context, and then we'll go ahead and create a new currency middleware. We'll now invoke set context. Let's now import set context from Apollo client. The first argument passed to this function will be the GraphQL operation itself, and then the previous context. We'll ignore the first argument, and from the second we'll destructure the current headers. We'll then return a new object and merge in the existing headers, as well as configuring our new custom currency header. And the value of this will fetch from our currency context provider. This set context function could also be asynchronous, and it could make a request to another API or SDK to get the value. This is useful if you're using something like a authentication provider, where you need to fetch the current token and pass that along as a header. Now inside where we instantiate our Apollo client, we'll import from from Apollo client, and we'll pass it an array of our links. The first will be our currency middleware, and then will be our terminating link, HTTP link. This array of links will return one link that we can use to access our API by passing along the header to the endpoint here that we specified inside of the HTTP link. Now, back inside of our application, if we update the context here to use a different currency, we can see here that the response has been updated to return the new format of the amount in Great British Pounds. And we can see if we open the request headers that the CardQL currency header is passed along with the value of our currency from the context provider. If we change this to euros and we inspect the request headers, we can see here that the request headers have been updated to include that new currency value. So this has been a short video on how you can create a custom Apollo provider component that has custom middleware and creates a single Apollo link using that middleware to update the request headers when you make a request to your API that you've configured as an HTTP link. 